Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're gonna take a look at Aries. Hey Aries, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I'm shuffling these. I did meditate over these cards. We're gonna take a look and see what's going on in your energy. All right, uh, I wanna pull a card from Work Your Lights. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Work your light. Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Awakening. Hmm. Energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Integration. I think you might be incorporating some new things into your existence. I do get this vibe that you guys are becoming a little bit more aware of what's going on around you. I think you're becoming a little bit more spiritual. I think you're allowing yourself to delve into spirituality and kind of be like, oh, I feel good after I do this. I feel good after I do that. There's some sort of awakening, something that you, um, I think this is something that you're going to, I think you're going to check into it. I think that's the best way to put it. I think you're going to entertain the thought of trying to handle things a different way or, hey, why do I feel this way? What is it that I'm meant to see with this? Let's see if we have one more. Okay. Ooh, okay. That one flipped. Let me just go back to it. Okay. <sighs> All right. Now. Don't dim to fit in. This came out reversed. You know, when I think of the Aries that I know, I don't see them dimming down at all. That's not how I feel. So if this is even a thought, which I think I'm starting to understand what's going on here. If this is a thought, you need to not do that. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Are you? Are you considering doing that? Are you an individualist and you're just going to, what are you going to do? All right, so that's the energy that I'm getting. I do have the tower card for you here, Aries. Wait, hold on. Let me just move this stuff because I have more cards. All right, hold on. Let me put these over here. You guys can't see it, but I can. Hold on. And I have my water. All right, so, uh, yeah, the don't dim your light to fit in. Don't dim to fit in. That's, you know, pretty much what it says here. All right, I feel like you guys are making judgment calls here. Um, I feel like there are some changes that are going on. I'm going to say all around you. So when I say all around, I mean all aspects uh, internally, um, you know, things going on around you, like, you know, family, friends, whatever. So there are some things that could be changing around you. And I feel like these changes are something that you saw coming. Now, I did get this for a couple of, of um, the other signs. There's something that you guys saw coming and you knew it was going to happen. So that was kind of the good thing about it. It wasn't sudden. It was kind of like subtle. But at the end of the day, something did change. And I think you guys have a fear of letting go, all right? So there are some changes that are meant to happen, and you may need to talk them out to somebody. I feel like once you guys start to acknowledge that there are some kind of changes that need to happen or something is happening, something has happened, I think you're going to start to look for support. Some of you guys could be reaching out to friends and family that maybe you haven't spoken to for a while, all right? And I feel like your friends, your family, and there's also some of you guys could be in support groups. Okay, but I do see there are some changes here. And I see, you know, we did pull awakening. So energetic upgrades. I think that you need to be open to whatever the changes are. All right? But you want to be very, you know, just mindful of what all that you decide to eliminate during this awareness or whatever. So I also see judgment reverse for you guys. I think some of you guys are starting to understand, right, with the awakening that I could be repeating patterns. It's the same thing over and over and over again. I'm not learning a lesson. As a matter of fact, my behaviors are holding me back from where I want to go. So I do feel like maybe maybe this is an energy where you guys have been dimming things down a little bit to make other people happy. There's no need to do that. All right. Now, if you just go ahead on ignoring something, then it's going to happen to you and it's going to hurt. Right. So why not take it day by day like it looks like you have been doing. But I think now it's like, OK. It was change number one, two, three, four, and five, but now this is an actual change where I have to acknowledge it, all right? So I don't know if this is about you doing it. There's a judgment call on some situation where you could have been following, all right? I do see the Knight of Wands here is reversed. It does talk about you guys being ready to give up something, something that you are just about to meet your goal. There's something that you are landing on, something that you've been working on. You're about to meet your goal and something amazing is going to happen, but you feel like you want to give up. Do not give up. This is not the time to give up. This is the time to keep going, whatever it is, all right? Don't be discouraged, okay? Things may not look that great right now, but things will turn around. Just hang in there. Now, 
the last energy I have for you. Okay, so this card is a four of swords reverse. It talks about avoiding self-reflection. It talks about you feeling restless. And what's the best way to put this? I think you're scared to look and see what is holding you back. Like, I'm scared to face it. It's kind of like the summary of the whole reading, right? You're, you're, fe you're fearful that something has to change. Like, you see it happening. You feel it happening. And you know, but this is like the final stop where you actually have to make a judgment call and acknowledge that something has changed. And I feel like for some of you guys here, you're trying to find some kind of peace in the situation. I think having to do with yourself. This, to me, looks like a really a reading of... Uh, acknowledging changes and self-reflection right some sort of awakening I see that you guys are gonna try and find some kind of peace so that you can become more productive because you haven't been peaceful on the inside I think that is why you might feel a certain way because this card also all these cards talk about judging yourself too harshly so you know everybody in the world could think you're great but if you don't think you're great yeah. all right so think you're great because you are. But anyway, you guys are going to find some kind of peace in the situation. Because I feel like a lot of this is overthinking and it's equating to burnout. It seems like the burnout could actually... That's the best way to put this. Okay. The overanalyzing that burnout can produce is what makes you feel burned out. I don't think it's the actual thing or whatever this is that you're doing. I don't think it's the actual thing that you got awakening with. But I just feel like, you guys, it's a time to reflect on some changes, some patterns that have been going on over and over and over again. And you're not going to learn the lesson until you learn the lesson. So you're being advised to learn the lesson. Don't let these towers keep falling and all this other stuff. But like I said before, this is not sudden. This is something you saw. All right. Let's see what energy we have here. I'll take, I'll take these out after. Show me love. I'm going to use romance angels. Show me love for Aries. Ooh, Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to shuffle these first. Because I was just like, you know, the light over. Okay. Show me Aries. Aries in love. You know what? Hold on. Put all this over here. Mm -hmm. Aries in love. Make the effort. Mm -hmm. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I came out reverse. It might be a little bit of indecision there. Maybe you're giving up on somebody. It does fall under the card here, the Knight of Wands reverse. So, I mean, that could be you not forgiven and learning as you release and heal from the past. You experience more love in, present, in your present moments. Hmm. So that falls under the Four of Swords, avoiding self-reflection. You guys could be avoiding what role you played in something, or you could... You know, it could be something having to do with just life experiences, I think. Letting things go. Not holding on to harbor and angers. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Some of you guys are in a relationship and you're just being advised. I think if we look at love, I'm going to say, don't give up on it so fast. Forgiving and learning. Okay. So that's what I have for love. That one is pretty kind of cut and dry for me. I'm going to pull, let's see, one of these cards, like. A moon card. Tell me what you have for Aries, please. Is there a message for Aries here? Is there a message for Aries? Ooh, okay. Well, two came out. And I always take the one that comes that I see first, which is blue moon. They come out like that. I don't know why I do that. Some people don't. Now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future. Some of you guys are thinking about your future. It's a powerful time to set long-term goals. Start planning. What is reversed here? Hmm. The path has been cleared for you to make change that previously seemed unachievable. And for some of you guys, I feel like you still don't believe it. Like, it's so shocking. But no, it's happening. We also have Moon in Sagittarius. Be prepared to be adaptable. As plans you have laid down, but that you... Okay. As plans you have laid, oh, may take an unexpected course. So something might change. This could be your attitude towards something changing. Maybe the path is going to clear adaptable plans. It keeps talking about some plans. There's something that's coming up for you guys. It's unexpected, but you need to start planning for your future because I feel like you guys might feel it. I just think you're a little bit unsure of how, when, where, if path has been cleared. Has it really? 
I don't think you really believe that yet. But the moon in Sagittarius, be prepared to be adaptable. As plans you have laid may take an unexpected course. I mean, that's amazing. It could be anything. I mean, you could even have unexpected visitors traveling with you. You know what I mean? I mean, you could, yeah, let's see. Now, what, isn't that ironic that the train just started? Yeah, all right. Give me one card for Aries, please. Divine Abundance. Aries, Divine Abundance, please. I think is that. Oh, that's from a different deck. I don't even know what that's doing in there. All right, guys. Let me shuffle these. Divine Abundance for Aries. Let me put these over here so you guys can actually see them. Divine Abundance for Aries. Divine Abundance for Aries. Divine Abundance for Aries. Allowing... It's reversed. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Allowing. Maybe you guys are getting in the way of something happening. Maybe you're overthinking. Maybe you have these thoughts that are negative towards something. You need to open up and allow yourself to be kind of blessed with whatever this means. You have to allow something to finish so something next can happen. Say yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. So yeah, you're going to hopefully manifest and allow, you know, things to work for you. Allow things to happen, things that are needed. All right, one more. That's, hold on, guys. Listen, I'm very literal. That's reversed. Okay. Let me let you see that. That's allowing. One more, please. One more. Trust. Mm -hmm. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings. Trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. You are going to most likely come into some blessings that you are being trusted with. And uh, you're being advised that this is being given to you because you can handle it. I have built you up so you can handle it. Whatever this is. It might be a big task. It might be something new to you. Whatever. You can handle it. All right. One more. Whew. Intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Mm. I, you know what, Aries? You know, Aries, I think you guys are going a little, you're going within. I think that you guys are happily going within. And you're like, listen, I feel some stuff is about to happen. Like, I feel like something is about to change. And I feel like, because you're not necessarily, like, I don't know how this road is supposed to go. I don't know this journey. I feel like, you're trusting. You're like, I'm going to hand it over. You know what I mean? And that's what I get. I feel like you guys might be, um, I don't know, meditation, prayer, a little bit more. And that's all I have for you guys. This is for, oops, what is this? February 2022 for Aries. Guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. <sighs> all right, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.